Okay, now comes the fun part. <laughs> like up until this time, it may seem a little heavy because hey, it is, we're just talking about stress, right? And that's not, not necessarily pleasant. No. But now comes the fun part because the reality is the solution is hidden in plain sight. We have called these things stress switches. And we probably have... Oh, over 200. Oh, there's, there's hundreds of stress switches that we have um, unintentionally turned on, mm -hmm. but we've been so conditioned that it's our normal mm -hmm. that we don't even realize that these stress switches are all turned on. And that we have the ability to turn them off. Well, that's true. And, and I say we're so stressed out that with these, and understand we're talking about life, life events, right? L stress events the things that we have control over, we've got so many of them turned on and, and we've become so accustomed to it that then when we have a stress event happen that we have no control over, it pushes us over the edge. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have felt like it's so important for us to turn off some of these switches because, hey, life's still going to happen, right? I mean, we're still going to have stress events happen to us. That's a given. And, and we, we act shocked about it now. We know that's going to happen. So how can we turn off these stress switches so that then we can deal with with those uh, those big things that we have no control over that are going to come to us? So um, this is the fun part because we're actually asking you not to do more, <laughs> which most self improvement programs are going to ask you to do a little bit more or do this or do that. We're actually asking you to do less. And I mean, like, how cool is that? Who wouldn't want to do less? Who wouldn't want to do less in this world that we live in right now? So stress switch number one, it's our favorite one. Like we said, we have over a hundred in the Stress Free You book. If you, we're going to give you five uh, in these sessions. If you only do one of these, we're going to you're going to see a huge difference in your life. And the first one is absolutely our favorite and it's personal and yes. it is. It's the news blackout. Okay. okay, so historically, when would the news come on? Uh, in the evenings, you had the uh, you know the six o'clock news with you typically had the local news okay. and you had national news. And what all was included in that news? Okay, so uh, in the local news, you had things like uh, sports, you had uh, weather, you had lifestyle stories, mm -hmm. and in addition to all that, you had commercials. So the news itself actually only took up probably seven to eight minutes mm -hmm. of that 30 minute news block. Now in the national news, that was longer, it probably, but it also covered global events, but you still had commercials. Mm -hmm. You still had life uh, event stories. So out of that 30 minute news block, you still were absolutely right around the 20 minute mark of actual news. So that's how we, and that was it though. I mean, you had it at six o'clock and then you, they had did it again at 10 o'clock and that was all the news you could consume on TV anyway. But now we have whole channels Ugh. devoted, multiple, devoted yeah. to news 24 seven. Seven days. Reeling the same things over and over, over again. And is it positive? Over. It's never positive. The Washington Post had it written on the wall in the newsroom in red paint, sloppily written on the wall if it bleeds, it leads. Meaning the more uh, negative the story was, the higher up it went in, in, in the news. So by and large, the news is not a positive. No, and we're not suggesting by any means to be uninformed, to not know no. what's going on in the world. We're just saying don't have it on reeling all day long, all morning long when you're having family time. I mean, what is the most sacred thing in our world? It's our homes, where our families are, where, where we have relaxation, where we're supposed to be, have a safe haven. I mean, and you're turning on that TV and you're opening up your home to these stories and to these people that are yelling at each other. Yeah. I mean, that's not an environment that you want to host at no. your home. And you think about this too, is we, we're now in a 24 hour news cycle. There's not that much news. No. So now they bring people in to talk about it and rehash it, and then what are those people doing? Are they bringing in everybody that agrees with each other? No. No, they bring in people that can argue with each other, and now it's divided us as people because these people are on this side, these are on this side, it's, it's divided us, it gets just, it's negativity. It's opinions when really it Ugh. needs to just be facts. We That's don't need everyone's true. opinions. And we, and we don't need to be inundated. No. There's a difference, like she said, of being informed versus being inundated. Mm -hmm. This is something that was really personal. I'm an, I was, 
a news junkie. I loved politics. I loved being, I loved having it on. I, I fell into the trap. Complete transparency here. It's easy to do. And, and, and it was hard to turn it off. Like we did this and we said, okay, if we're going to talk about how to live a stress-free life, it starts with us, right? Otherwise we'd be hypocrites and we can't have that. So we said, we're going to stop watching the news. Let me ask you this. Yeah. When we did that, how'd you feel? Oh, it was awful at first. Like I, w I panicked. Like it's like, what's going on in the world? Like, you know, it's like, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm missing out. Guess what? Wasn't missing out on anything at all. Like after I did it, we did it for three days. That's what we challenged. We said, okay, let's try three days, not even a week, three days. When we turned the news back on, we're like, whoa, that's shocking. Mm -hmm. Like we've been accustomed to that. We've become immune to what it actually is. And now when we even walk through airport, okay, is flying fun? Is flying stress-free anymore? Are airports stress-free? No. And now what do they have on? Throughout all the terminals, <laughs> bad word there. The news. They have the news. Make you even happier, right? So now we walk through airports and we're, we can, it's like, oh, we can't get away from it quick enough. So we want to challenge you. Give us three days. Mm -hmm. Turn off the news. Turn off the negativity. You'll be amazed at how you're still informed. You still know what's going on around you. And you still you still have a grasp of, of what because you, your friends are going to tell you everything you need to know because they're addicted and they want to drag you because misery loves company. Yeah. So give us three days. Turn the news off. Do a news blackout and then let us know how you feel. Come back again in the next session where we'll talk about four more stress switches.